Ball is hit deep to left field, down the line. This one is gone. A three-run home run for Gary Sanchez, and the Yankees lead 10 to 7. His 13th home run of the year, and his seventh against the Baltimore Orioles. How about that? Gary Sanchez gets his opportunity, and a three-run rocket right down the left field line. Oh, look at that Yankee dugout. Delivers this one. High fly ball. Center field deep. Myers back. On the track. At the wall. See ya. A long blast into Monument Park. 4-1 Padres. Well, Gary Sanchez has the ability to do this at any time. And again, if this is how you get back in a game. You got to score that first run to feel like you're back in it. Well, I was surprised you didn't get up on your feet immediately. You see the hitter's reaction. Gary Sanchez knew. And that's the difference of this day and age when the guys know dead center field. Boom, got it. A monumental home run for the Sanchino. Dead center field and well back on the netting over the retired numbers. Oh, that Gary is scary. Hit well towards center field. Myers is back toward the wall and ring your bell into the beach. Josh Bell gives the Pirates a 1-0 lead with his 13th home run of the year. I wouldn't want to pitch to him either way. 110 miles an hour again. A bomb. To the opposite. Yeah, game. 430 feet. I mean, <laughs> it's, it's crazy. And now it's 3-2. and two. Looked as though the Padres were pitching around him, but... There's a fly ball to left field. Going back is Renfro at the wall. He's done it again! Josh Bell rings the bell! A three-run bomb! And it is 5-0! It is his 14th of the year! Shades of Willie in that number 55 uniform. Jim Day down there with Joey Votto and Nick Senzel and some of those guys. Derek Dietrich. Uh-oh. Did he get enough for this one? Are you kidding me? He's done it again. Cartwheels with Derek. We have a new home run leader in the clubhouse. 15 home runs for Derek Dietrich. But we've discussed already what might or might not happen here tonight. And it's in the air to right. Don't tell me again. It is again for Dietrich. His career high has been matched. We said he might break it tonight. He had 16 last year, but it took him 499 at bats to do it. He now has 16 this year. And by the way, that's in 117 at bats. It's amazing when he clocks it, he knows it. But here's Dietrich. Score oh that. my gosh, he's done it for the third time tonight! Derek Dietrich! Three for Derek Dietrich, and all three are two run home runs. He can't even believe it. His mom and dad are here, blows him a kiss in the stands. Wow! What a pickup Derek oh! Dietrich has been for the Reds. A native Buckeye. This guy's got to get a curtain call here. Getting well over 400 in the month of May. Today's the 25th day of May. High and deep left field. Way back, and the Rockies have the lead. Just like that. Number 200 for Arenado. Never ceases to amaze me. Welcome to the 200 Club. He was giddy last night with Trevor hit his 100. Well, how happy is he going to be tonight? You literally run out of superlatives to describe how special a player 28 is. The terrific Nationals third baseman, 25 strikeouts. This ball launched deep left field. Take a good look. You won't see it for long. And the Rockies get off to a 1-0 start. 
So he waits for it. And boy, did he make that mistake by John Means Pay. And Nolan was 10 for 33 on that road trip because he hits those 450 plus home runs, it seems like, all the time. This one's going to tie it up. Nolan's second tie. Here come the Rockies. Running two seam fastball on the Subaru Superman. Watch his react. Yeah, let's go. I love the emotion that he plays with. Got and, it, and, it's, and it's pure, it's raw. A drive to right center field and deep. Going back is good one at the wall. That ball is gone. Polanco with a two run home run. And it's a six run second inning. And it appears that it was a good decision to stay in town. <laughs> and get you in the booth in the second inning or good luck charm. That's right. All right, who wants to do the home run call? Derek, go ahead, Derek. Derek this shot? one's on I you. I don't have a home run call, but I, Mike, I will give it a say. Shot. Polanco swings at a breaking ball down in the zone, deep to right center field. Good win back. It is gone. Home run. Jorge Polanco. I don't know about the home run call. I think I'm going to take Dix. Another 3 2. A drive to right field and deep. Back is Brito. That ball is gone. A wonderful at bat for Jorge Polanco. A two run home run, and it is three to nothing. This guy is having a special season. This is uh, a star emerging before our eyes. I mean, he's, he's battling. He's fouling off tough pitches. He's making that pitcher work, and then as soon as they give him something to hit, he takes advantage of it and drives it all over the ballpark, this time over the fence for a home run. Hasn't been very frequent tonight as Springer sends one high in the air deep to right center field. Bets all the way back. He is watching this go. George Springer, his 17th home run of the year. The Astros take a 2 to 1 lead. Astros spring into the lead. That ball was destroyed. My goodness, is this guy having a season? In a tie all time with Carlos Lee for all time home runs. This ball's hit deep to left field, and he's just done it. 28th career leadoff home run. 133rd home run of his career. Welcome to the top 10, George Springer. Springer Dinger to get things going. Such a weapon at the top of this lineup for A.J. Hinch, turning around 96 miles an hour. He moves into 10th all-time by himself in leadoff home runs. And he ties Carlos Lee for the Astros all-time list with 133. Austin Meadows hits his eighth home run of the year, and suddenly the Rays are on the board. Well, you got some of that solid contact, finally. And how about some carry, too? I thought off the bat, that's got a chance to get down for extra bases, didn't it? And there's a shot into right field. That's got carry. Gone! Home run for Meadows. And the Rays take the lead, 2-1. to one. Well, it's two to one now. For the home run number nine for Meadows. One seven way up this year. Here's Meadows swinging at this one, driving it deep to center field. This is way back, and it is gone. How about that for a start on a Sunday afternoon? And it's one zip, Tampa Bay. I'll tell you what, the Rays have had the power stroke in this series. And how about Austin Meadows? He went to the second row, the big trees. Another 2 2. And this ball's hit high, deep right field. Way back. And we got ourselves a tie game. Chuck Nasty coming through. His sixth of the year. What a time for it. What a weapon at the top of the lineup. I just like the bat thing back to the pitchy spoil. And then he gets a slider hanging, middle portion of the plate, and Charlie does with it what Cole asked him to do. Yeah. Himself a superstar in the game. 
And this ball's getting absolutely demolished. Second deck in right center field. Chuck Nasty with his seventh of the year. I don't think Ellen Blackman's ever seen Charlie hit a ball that far. Wow. I don't think I've ever seen Charlie hit a ball that far. Except for maybe Baltimore. But look at this thing. Oh my goodness. There's no way that fan thought he was getting a baseball out there today. Four nothing an estimated 464 feet listen if you're a starting pitcher the next day you're down right little catch oh, that's oh, that oh, no, he's done it again charlie blackman leaves the building in that one maybe just as far as the first one he likes playing in coors field well, he likes dick margavich's too holy moly that's his fifth big fly of the homestand. This is walloped. Let's drop the bat and start trying. And that's every bit of bad attention to drive the baseball. Seem to be in the mix. Yes. If not a shoe in. And a deep drive to right. Cubs lead 2 nothing in the first. My, my, my. This guy is just putting on a clinic. Starting to look like batting practice here. Haven't seen the change up to him yet. Got him swinging. Payoff pitch, runner going. Swing and a miss, strike three. Like a walk in the park. He gets a swing and a miss for strike three. 2015 and 16. Wow, he gets a chase on a pitch that was three or four feet off of the plate. The Yankees have done that in this game. Swing and a miss, drag three. Wilkerson's at number one. Went with the slider. And a perfectly executed slider down and in. And Chapman's one, two. Half swing and a slider struck him out. And one away. Oh, two. Struck him out swinging, fastball. And the pitch. Swing and a miss. A strong ninth inning for Chapman.